Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. Today, we are going to be making no fuss salmon burgers with cucumber salad. It's Lunch with Lisa. It is super simple, and it would be a great date night meal. That's why I'm all dressed up. Date night, right? We all wanna impress our dates. So this is a good one for you dudes out there too if you want to impress the ladies. It's so easy. Anybody could do this. It's going to take you no time at all. So let's get to it. Okay, so in a small bowl, which I have here, I'm going to whisk together one and a half tablespoons of light mayonnaise or if you're like me and don't have it, use the regular mayonnaise, right? So I'm going to whisk that together and I have a quarter teaspoon of parsley, dried parsley. You can also use fresh parsley, but I'd probably use like twice as much if you have fresh parsley. Fresh parsley is always the best. I don't have that on hand right now, but I do have this stuff. So that goes in the bowl. I hate seeing all this mayonnaise go to waste. So what you can do is get a spatula. <laughs> or you, you could eat it. <laughs> you could eat it. I mean, lick the bowl, right? Yes. Got that out of the way. Uh, right there. Okay, then half a teaspoon of lemon juice. So I have here half a lemon that I used the other half the other day and it's got all these seeds in here. So this is what I do. I just kind of cut my hand and let the seeds fall into my hand. And that's about half a teaspoon. Sure. It's just lemon juice, people. I need a towel. <laughs> got my towel. Okay. Hair out of my face. And then we need some onion. And I actually cut up a bunch of onion the other day and I'm just gonna grab like a tablespoon and I'm gonna mince this up a little bit more. So that's just chopped. And the difference between chopped, which is like a square, like a quarter of an inch, and then there's minced, which is tinier. So that'll get it all throughout the whole salmon. Now, if, it's, if you're on a date and you don't wanna smell like onion, don't worry, she's gonna be eating it too, or he's gonna be eating it too, or they are gonna be eating it too. And y'all aren't gonna taste the onion. One large egg. And we're just gonna whisk that all together. Oh, I can't wait to try these. I actually haven't made this before. Salmon, salmon patties. Oh man, my mom used to make them all the time when I was a kid. So it was one of those comfort foods for me. And I can't wait to see how this one turns out because I we use different spices. So um, what I like to do is keep the lid on and then just pour. Do y'all do anything with the juice from this? I usually just pour it out. And I just thought, what could this be good for? Oh my gosh, I think my cat's gonna come in here in a minute and be like, meow, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna put the salmon in there and then just gently fold. So I guess I'm gonna switch to my spatula and just gently fold this all together. Oh, and here's the last ingredient for that. Instead of breadcrumbs, you could use pork rinds. They're super tasty and they're not gonna give you a whole ton of carbs or anything. If you're in fat burn, they may add to your fat content. So just use them sparingly. We're gonna use half a cup in this recipe or you could use a quarter of a cup, however much you want it, or you could totally leave it out. I would add them though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smash them. I'm gonna put them in a little plastic bag. I'm gonna close the bag. I'm gonna get my rolling pin out. And then I'm just gonna smash them. And then scoop out half a cup. I did just a little bit more than I thought I would need just in case. And it looks like, yeah, I just had a tiny bit left over. Add that in or just stick to exact measurements. Fold this in. Oh yeah, you definitely need the pork rinds or something to soak up all that liquid. So I wouldn't leave them out. And if you did leave them out, you could use, I don't know, something low carb. Look at that. That looks so good. I could eat it just like this. I mean, you really could, except the raw egg is in there. Okay, now we're gonna make four patties out of this. So four servings. I'm gonna split it in half. Split those in half. So you could measure this out or you could eyeball it. I like eyeballing things. I usually get it really good when I eyeball it. I have my pan all heated up. So now, I'm just gonna lightly oil the pan with my nifty little spray bottle. I want medium high heat. This is avocado oil. 
And then here we go. I'm gonna form some patties and place them in. This is the messy part. <laughs> Yummy. As long as you get them in a ball, you just kind of put it in the pan and just smash it flat. So I'm gonna wash my hands and we'll let that cook and then we'll make the cucumber salad. These get five minutes per side. So I put a timer on. Scoot that away. Okay, now for our cucumber salad, you need three cups of cucumbers and this is a pretty big cucumber I got from my garden. So I'm just gonna like chop this guy up. You can slice it, but this guy's so fat, I'm gonna end up um, cutting it into quarters. Now I don't know about you, but my tummy can hurt after eating the seeds and the skin from store-bought ones, but these guys are pretty good. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. Fresh cucumber is the best. If you ever have a chance to have a garden and grow cucumber, I highly recommend it. Stick this in a bowl. Now we're gonna take just one ounce of Greek yogurt. I'll do the low-fat Greek yogurt. Then we're gonna have a half a teaspoon of dill dried dill, or if you have fresh dill. I had fresh dill, but then I let the plant die. I It flowered and then it just got heavy. Anyway, um, I cut it down to see if it would regrow and it, it's dead. Then you need some apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I got the good stuff here. The mother, shake it up real nice. So got that. We have a dash of pepper and a dash of salt. Optional, of course. And then we're gonna give it a little judge. Just stir all that together. Probably a bigger bowl would have been better. <laughs> yeah, use a bigger bowl. Get that Greek yogurt broken up. Yummy. And then we're just gonna pour this over our cucumbers. Now, I can see maybe this being a problem. Okay, time to flip our lovely salmon patties. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. I did not want to stay together. It's okay. Look at how gorgeous those are. Nice little sear there. Just gonna give it a little bit more oil. Finish mixing my cucumber salad. I can see maybe on date night, you might get some dill in your teeth. Just be kind to each other and let each other know. Or, or just, you know, not care. Rinse it out with some good wine, which is what I forgot to buy today. I was gonna pop open some wine and have my own date night with my child. Wine yet? He's only 11. Oh, okay. That smells and looks so good. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Mm. The fresh cucumber is so crisp and clean tasting. And then the dill and the vinegar. That vinegar, y'all. Mmm. It's good stuff. Now we just wait for the salmon patties. And while we wait, I'm gonna plate up some of this stuff. So this serves four people. So I'm only gonna put a fourth of the salad on the plate. Y'all, I'm falling apart here. <laughs> yum, yum. Yep, it looks good. I'm gonna have one more. Mm. So when my mom used to make us salmon patties, she would put in flour and egg and salt and pepper and oh, they were good. But when I moved out and I went to college, I kept making these salmon patties and I added, I played around with adding like different things like relish and mayonnaise and breadcrumbs and all sorts of things. You could just, oh God, there's so many things you could put in this. And I can't wait to taste how these turn out with the parsley and the mayonnaise and the lemon and the egg. Oh, and the pork rinds. We're gonna make this look delicious. I'm gonna check. All right, these guys are ready to be plated. Oh my goodness. It smells so good in here. Look, look at that. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Yes. Now that is some healthy meal. And then here's one for my child. Or maybe they're both for me. Who knows? Oh my goodness, you guys. 
Thank you so much for tuning in today. I had so much fun cooking with you. A little lunch with Lisa. All right, let's give these babies a try. Mm. Look at that. Nice and golden brown on both sides. Mm-hmm. Mm. Isn't that super tender in the middle? Mm. You taste the onion and that lemon. So good. Mm. And eating it with the salad is even better. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't put any pepper in there. It doesn't need any salt. But if you want just a little bit of pepper on top, or you can add it to the mixture. Now with that pepper on there. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Oh yeah, that tastes so good. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side. It's lunch with Lisa.